Hello and welcome everyone. Jack Boone here with a quick tutorial on the new V3S military truck in Daisy Standalone. First off, when you originally find one of the new military trucks, use the scroll wheel to either find the steering wheel icon or the option to get in the V3S driver's seat. This is your best bet to get into the military truck, otherwise it might take you a little while. One of the best tips I can give you before you begin your long journeys is to check the fuel gauge. You always want to make sure you got a little bit of gas in the tank before you head out. You don't want to be checking when you're halfway down the road. Another quick tip, be cautious. This game is in alpha and the physics and mechanics behind the military truck are buggy at best. Treat the military truck as if it was 40 feet wide, minimal. One of the biggest disadvantages to the V3S military truck is the amount of noise it creates, not only from the engine, but it cancels out a lot of the VOIP or team speak or anything like that. So there's quite a bit of difference between first person and third person. Third person you have a lot more awareness of where your truck is, but at the same time it's a lot louder. Now if you're trying to communicate with teammates or anything like that, try first person. It's probably your best bet. Now when trying to exit the military truck, use the scroll wheel to find the get out option. Do not try ejecting unless your life depends on it. It may just cost you your life. Next tip is fueling up. One gas can is equal to one quarter of the fuel tank in the military truck. Therefore, four gas cans full will fill the truck up. Scroll over to the gas pumps with an empty gasoline can and find the fill canister option. Now, in order to fill up a gas can, you must have it completely empty first, so take that into consideration. The fuel tank for the V3S military truck is on the passenger side. Just something to keep in mind when you pull up to the gas station. Always fill up your gasoline canister before heading out. You never know when a quarter tank comes in handy. The last tip I got, enjoy the scenery and the open roads. Chinaris has some beautiful sights to behold, and you never know who you might run into. Being in a truck, usually generates a lot of attention. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to click that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. So until next time, as always, have a good one.